Hey lovies, how's it going? It's Gwen here. Um, I thought I'd do a reading today from my fairy oracle deck. I hope you're all doing well. I am in the midst of packing, organizing, and getting ready for a move. Not moving far. Same apartment complex, just to a bigger spot. Get more space, which will be very nice. Um, so... I don't even know what day it is. It's Sunday, fun day. That I know. What day of the week? The 15th. Okay. Spirit gave it to me. Thank you. <laughs> All right. So 15 is a six. Okay. Sixes are about connecting with our spiritual roots again. Okay. Um, I want to thank all of the followers out there. Uh, you're going to start seeing some new videos where I'm showing you guys some of my intuitive artwork. It's very visionary and it's very, um, I don't know, it's just way creative and out there. And I love it. And I want to share it with you all here on the channel too, not just on Facebook. So you'll start seeing that. Um, so I've been busy with that too. But I will try in the midst of everything of, in the now moments to come on and at least do a little bit of a, uh, a daily reading until I get settled, and then we'll go back to the, everybody gets a reading on, for their sign each month. So remember, too, if you're looking for a personal private reading, I do those. Just reach out to me through email. It's really easy to schedule one. I'll get right back to you a few days out right now. Um, thank you for all the likes, shares, comments, subscribes. Uh, for those good karma donations, we appreciate it so much. Um, yeah, love you, love you, love you guys. So what are the messages for the collective? To the Fae, who are with me today? Come on, let's do this. I'm going to spend some time out in nature today. If you missed my video the other day, we're talking about our little apartment complex here, having a Sunday fun day, lots of um, kids games and whatnot, and a barbecue where we all kind of contribute Last, uh, we've played Uno so far out there. I know sometimes we'll bring out a TV and actually do the Mario Kart video game. Um, we've got some cards against humanity, some regular cards. Sometimes we'll play poker. Who knows, whatever we're into, you know. It's just great to get together with people and celebrate life and celebrate friendship. Okay, anything else? I I, I love it. You know, the people down in, this, in Louisiana here, you know, They've always been so damn friendly. That's all I got to say. I haven't been to all the states. I'm from the West Coast. That's the one. Okay. And um, so, but I've had, I've, over the last three or, three years or so, I've gotten to travel a bit. And it's, to see, I like it down here. I, I don't appreciate all the lip sweat and the humidity, but it's only, you know, a few months. And I, I do like that tropical weather. I just miss the ocean. So, you know, I'm going to have to take jaunts and trips to, to, to get to the, to the sea. The mermaid in me likes the sea. Okay, so let's talk about this. We've got the Gossamer Princess that came out first. Card number 12, which is um, all these butterflies here. Communication, relationship work to be done. Okay, this is a beautiful part of your transformation. You see this maiden here. She's sitting on a spider web or a web in the sky. Okay. So these beautiful colors in the background. Um, you know, it just looks like she's pondering life choices. What, what, what she, you know, should I make this move? Should I not make this move? Okay. Um, the web in between looks very thin right here. Right. Okay. But it isn't because we we create a very strong web, okay? And spirit is urging and guiding you to think about your future in a positive light. That this is all a part of your transformation and that you're recreating with spirit. This is all in the sky, okay? She sits up on high, right? So, well, I'm going to clarify it too. Absolutely clarify it. Um, the wizards want to come out? Okay. Let's do that. I haven't done shuffling so much on camera like this, but I didn't want to prep. I just wanted to flow, you know. It was just like hit record. I'm like, okay. There's my clarifying card. Okay. The devil. 
devil energy. Okay. When the devil energy comes out, it, it could speak to codependency, addiction, um, speaks to the sign of Capricorn as well. Um, but really, uh, maybe also taking a, uh, cause she looks really deep in thought, you know, about the darker truths in our life and the, and the, the contrast in our life and making a, a decision. But you're scared to fly that devil energy there. That's the next card out. Holding on to dead branches, holding on to dead weight. The right moment, sensing out the right timing. I very much feel both of these are okay. Connected. You know, you know who your roots are. The sun is shining behind you in the in the distance. It's time to let I mean the leaves are falling, right? It speaks to the time of fall too, which is coming up. And um yeah. Sensing a divine timing is at play here is what I hear in my head. Okay, let's talk about this scared to fly. Clarify scared to fly. Ten of swords. Yeah. You have wings, my darling. I'm going to keep pointing that out. You have beautiful wings. Okay, this is feeling very much burdened weighed down, betrayal, hurt, all of that kind of thing. You're tying up loose ends right now with that card 18, scared to fly. Okay. <coughs> you are more powerful than you give yourself credit for. Okay. All right, and so then I've got this, this littlest fairy here today. The littlest fairy, it's time to start appreciating everything that you do have. The littlest things, it's time to start there. Because when we're, we're we feel this sense of betrayal, we do get into this kind of, of a fear mindset, too. Do we have the strength? You know, and spirit saying, yes, appreciate the beauty and the value of the exquisite and small. Appreciate you. Appreciate your inner child. See that pose? Okay. Get back to nature. Slow down. She sits on top of this toadstool. You know, the, the mushroom there. The magic mushrooms are there all around. Okay. Do things that make you feel good. Natural medicines. Take care of your inner child right, ta right now. You will know the right time. Okay, that you're coming, the Ten of Swords is like, you're done with this bullshit. Okay, that's, a Ten is an ending, new beginning. Okay, so let's clarify the Littlest Fairy. Clarify the Littlest Fairy. And it's in that contrast and in those tough times in life that we learn about our resiliency and our strength, who our roots are. All right? Okay, so, and that's card 20, duality. Mm -hmm. Clarify the littlest fairy. Clarify the littlest fairy. Show me clearly. Littlest fairy. Thank you. My nose itched on that one. The six of wands. Yay. It's like a celebration. Celebrate the little things in life again. Celebrate you. It's like that Sunday fun day I was talking about. Show off your mallet magics. Show off your talents. Malins is what I was going to say. <laughs> See the celebration happening there? Yeah, you're being celebrated. Spirit celebrates you. The six of wands. I love that. And so then we've got the riddle fisher out. This will be the second number three in your reading, by the way. Card number three. We started with a 12, which is a three. The riddle fisher. Divination, seeking out and finding answers. Mm -hmm. Very much water essence coming through here. That water dream state. We are water. Okay. Things coming through in the dream state. Messages. You're figuring out the puzzle. Okay. Use all of your divinatory tools to communicate with spirit. All right. 
clarify the riddle, Fisher. Tell me more about this. You're finding out the answers. Yeah, and the Wheel of Fortune. Yes! Yes! Wheel of Fortune. I love it. The wheel is turning. The wheel is moving. Consciousness leveling up. Balancing of the chakras, I feel, with that. Um, yeah. Tuned into the heart center and mind. Things are moving. You're figuring things out. You're, yeah, with the wheel moving and the wheel turning like that. And so now it's time to slow down, too. It's the last card, card 22. Master number 22 coming out in your reading today. Okay? It's time to review the cycles. Review the patterns. That's why she's looking at this snail there. She's got her heart. She's got her ear to the earth, listening to the heartbeat of the earth. The animals, the smallest little creatures, the insects are all speaking to us. Okay? It's not the big ones that are big and flashy all the time either. Okay? When we slow down, we see the subtle energies. We see the subtle messages. That's what the Fae is trying to convey through these cards today too. Take care of you. Pause. Slow down. Connect with your breath again. Okay? And look deeper into your truths, into your patterns. Okay? You're a master creator. You create a that Right there at the beginning was that spider web. Okay? You're creating a new life. So when you slow down, okay, and you connect again with earth, you can, you can have beautiful manifestations at times that, that imagined in Terry's state. You know what I'm saying? What is this? Tell me more about this snail's pace. Snail's pace. Clarify the snail's pace. There it is. Thank you. The Knight of Wands. Yeah, the Spirit wants you because things are like the wheel come out. Okay, and then we've got the Knight of Wands rushing in. So that's why, like, in this transit transitionary time before the divine timing because you got to trust your intuition in this choice okay you when this first came out i really felt like you're dealing with a lot of sh healing aspects of your shadow self the devil card okay and it's a beautiful transformation the sunny new future okay and creating a new new life a new web okay and so the fact that this Knight of Wands coming in to, to clarify the snail's face is like, yeah, slow down, meditate, ground, do what you got to do to take care of you because ahead is coming this beautiful energy. The Knight of Wands is dashing, daring, bold, creative. So it's a, it's a balancing that I'm seeing too. In order to have the energy to be like this, you've got to tune in. You've got to take care. You've got to have your own cup full. Mm hmm they want me to read about this Knight of Wands. Okay, I will. It's not the King of Wands, it's the Knight of Wands. I always like to remind people of that. I don't know why I do that, but like, it's not the King, it's the Knight. It is feminine energy on this Knight, by the way. On this course, by the way. Okay. Knights are very focused on a specific task and may not be aware of everything going on around them. Understand their goal to either engage or avoid them. Energetic, charismatic, and fond of attention, the wands are often leaders. Getting things done quickly can lead to taking on too much or not finishing. Driven by will and passion, this knight wants her own way and will stop at nothing until she gets it or until she is distracted by the next awesome idea. If you want her on your side, you'll have to capture her capricious attention. Once you do, she'll devote her boundless energy and instinctive insight to your cause. When left to her own devices, she is almost always oblivious to any damage she may cause during her quest. Luckily, such intensity never lasts long. So if you cannot engage her, just stay out of her way until she wears herself out. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, spirit. I do feel like I need, I'm going to take that thing. Because I very much feel like I'm having very energy sometimes. But now it's like this night of ones. Yes, to stay out of my way until my energy runs out. And then I'm going to slow down and connect back with my, yeah, because... <laughs> 
think things through a little bit more before you make some really bold choices. And that's what you're doing. What's the underlying energy? Y'all are so funny. Oh, yay. Card 10. Yay. The unicorn and the maiden. Ending, new beginning. Yes, you're connecting again with all of your beautiful magics. Mm-hmm. Magics. Psychic abilities. Telepathic abilities. Okay, Claire, audience. Claire, essence. Claire, all those Claire's. The Claire's, Claire, Claire's. Connected with the unicorn, y'all. Okay, at the crown, man. Communication with the unicorn, purification, undercover action. There's much going on behind the scenes. Much happening that you couldn't even fucking comprehend in the activations and integrations of the light codes that are being poured into your soul. I don't know where this shit comes from, but I'm just telling you, take good care of you. Look at that bright, beautiful, sunshiny future. It was right there in the beginning. Okay? And it's right there at the end, and it's right there behind you as you slow the hell down, okay? Divine timing is at play. You're figuring this all out. You're releasing all of this hurt and trauma and burden, and, you know, you, you're sensing out the right timing. It's a time to celebrate all and appreciate all that you, all the little things that you do have. And loving your inner child, celebrating you, and you're so brave and bold, and you got this. I don't even want to bring up the devil energy to begin with, because you, you're doing everything you got to do. Mm -hmm. Rest. That was after this. Stolen in your sleep. Rest. There's messages that need to come through during that state. Period. There's a secret doorway. It's it's. happy Sunday. Do all the things. If you love this video today, share it, love it, comment it. Do all the things. I love you guys.